A question. Oh, character. Arthur is a man of bravery, a heroic knight that is an expert at projectile weaponry. Arthur is fearless. His favorite pastime is relaxing in bikini-cut undergarments, bathing in the brisk nighttime air of the graveyard with the princess Prin Prin by his side. Arthur likes nothing better than doing this. On one fateful day, Princess Prin Prin is kidnapped by Satan. Arthur doesn't question the sudden existence of demons or monsters. Arthur just wants his Prin Prin. He will stop at nothing to win back his Prin Prin. But Prin Prin is gone gone no matter. Arthur will defeat the demon, crush the crow, we kill the zombie to hell with you all. Arthur will travel through ghost town, through the demon realm passageways, leaping, killing. Arthur's flame has been ignited and his tenacious passion will incinerate their hellish realm and pick up fancy dress shoes in the process. Arthur wields the lance. He skillfully launches it towards his adversary. Arthur also uses the throwing knife, the firebomb, and the axe. Arthur is covered in a complete suit of armor, yet is still surprisingly nimble. He is a sprightly knight. Leap the chat. Arthur is a woolly-faced knight of slender. His beard of reddish puff protrudes from his helmet as it rattles along. However, his armor is fragile. It is good for one hit or touch. It will completely disintegrate if bothered. Arthur will fight in his underwear. His shame is nil. And as a reward for his nude bravery, upon defeating a demon guardian, he will receive armored clothing. Hooray for decency. Arthur cannot swim. Arthur has a weakness towards magic. He will be toted. Soon he will face Satan, a coward demon armed with throwing stars. You are the prince of nothing. After Satan's defeat, Arthur will... Wait, what? This weapon has not effect. Oh, this sucks. Arthur can only continue after he procures the Holy Shield. The Holy Shield can block projectiles. The Holy Shield will destroy Satan and allow entrance into Astaroth's lair. The Holy Shield is a terrible weapon. It has the throwing range of an infant having no concept of throwing. It has the power of throwing a shield at someone. After gaining entrance into Astaroth's lair, Arthur will find that Satan was only a lackey doing the bidding of Arthur's prime enemy. A hideous monstrosity with a regular mouth and a stomach mouth cloaked with a red cape and covered in dingy purplish fur. It will be a battle to end all battles in an almost impossible contest of good versus evil. And when Arthur defeats Astaroth, it is then and only then where he will fight. No! Arthur will go through the graveyard, kill all the zombies, jump over the water, fight the Cyclops, run through the ice world, jump over the floating bricks, fight the twin jumping Cyclops, go through the secret passage in the ground, fight the Cyclops, destroy the blue dragon, destroy the 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 dragon. You rescue the princess and Arthur can live in peace with Princess Prin Prin for the rest of, oh hell no, Astral. I'm not doing this, no, I'm done. You get it. Yes, Arthur enjoys moon bathing in his draws. That's it, we're done, play the ad. Quest with me, learn with us, enrich your mind, empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page, put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. Oh. Character. Character.